Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the YouTube channel. And today we're going to be reacting to the Misfits X Series 12 card results after the fight. It was an amazing fight night of boxing. I'm not going to lie. I'll give credit where credit's due. Um, yeah, so let's start with straight into it. So the first fight of the night, it was Most Wanted uh, versus Joey Knight. Uh, obviously, Most Wanted is known for being in the Twitter spaces. Um, obviously, him and himself, uh, he's got a smaller community. So he represents a smaller community of creators that want to get into this scene as well. Um, and he goes because Joey Knight is a, a podcaster, he's a Chelsea fan. Uh, and Joey Knight just outclassed him. Uh, I thought most was going to win because he talked a lot of uh, good talk, which is as you do, you try to promote the fight, you talk the talk and you have to make sure you walk the walk. But um, Joey Knight's amateur background paid off. He showed his class. Definitely could see him going up against the likes of Waleed, Yuri Gang, um, uh, you know, Dean the Great, Waleed Sharks down the line. I could definitely see him do that type of stuff because he is really good. He's really got the ability to compete against the people who are really good boxers in lightweight division. Um, so it's not ideal uh, that most wanted lost, but the positive that he can take from this is that he's one of the you know, made himself known that he is someone who can fight uh, to a good degree, or to a great degree. He showed some skills, but got outclassed by someone who definitely has the experience. And then another thing is that it gives uh, small creators like myself hope to get onto the Misfits scene. So well done most. Going on to the second fight, we're looking at Miles Raksu and uh, DTG. Um, Strain cut forward. It started off pretty well, even fight first round, but uh, in the second round, DD took over straight, you know, double jab, cross, uh, perfected a combination very well. Footwork placement was really on top tier, performance and all that stuff. Um, and then um, uh, Miles Corner just, I think they waved it off in the second round and you know, TKO win for DTG, big win, back-to-back -back wins, two wins in the space of the last three months. Well done, well done to you, DTG. Going into the third fight, uh, we're going to be looking at the Chase the Moore and Minicon fight. Chase the Moore, from being a laughing stock against Josh Bruckner to still being a laughing stock, and then working his way over the time, over the last year or so, he's actually improved fight over fight, um, and he's done well for himself. Um, I think you know, he deserves the credit where it's due. Uh, I do think he was robbed in the prime card and he outclassed Minicon in this fight. Won um, by TKO, fair and square. Um, it was a good win for Chase. Um, obviously he was emotional after the win uh, because obviously it was the first win that he had got in his Misfits career. And now he obviously wants to rematch with uh, Temple Arts, which I think is the right fight to make because I do think he was robbed and he deserves the belt. Shout out the goal. Enjoy that chase. Um, and then after that, we move on to the Ben Williams Fest Batista fight. Fest Batista, promotion wise, great promotion, putting out Transformers, talking all the talk and all that stuff. But the reality is as soon as he got into the fight ring, um, levels were shown ben williams was levels were ahead of him obviously younger faster stronger um ben but fez batista is a monster uh, in terms of uh, um you know having the ability to hold his chin um and obviously hold his ground and doing well uh, against someone like ben williams obviously he didn't win the fight um because i think it was a unanimous decision um but in reality, uh, fair play to Fez Batista for putting in a fight and actually trying to give it a go in the well-weight division. And Ben Williams obviously targets, you know, Jarvis, B-Dave. B-Dave will probably get smoked by him anyway. So he'll probably target the likes of Jarvis uh, to work his way towards the well-weight title. So well done, well done Ben Williams, putting yourself on there on the map as well and obviously giving re uh, res uh, representation for the Irish boxer cre create community out there. So, so well done Ben Williams. Uh, moving on from that, it was my boy Small Spartan J versus Fox. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was talking the most on Twitter. Very respectfully, I was. I was back in Jay's corner all the way up until the fight, and then Fox just slumped him. I'm not even gonna try to sugarcoat it. So Fox, you've got my respect. Um, yeah, man, got skills. Definitely proved yourself, and obviously, you've said what it took you to get to this stage and obviously the trials and tribulations you've gone through. I think you've earned a lot more respect now from the people who didn't give you that respect, uh, myself included. Uh, and obviously you've gained a lot. Obviously you've only, you're only gonna ever grow your fan base. You're gonna probably make another great four or five minute video on your YouTube channel. So well done mate. Uh, yeah, keep up the good work. It's crazy that his mum is from England and he's like, like the most American accent I've ever seen because obviously he's born and raised there. So fair play my guy, fair play my guy. It's probably the British dog in you that you would that one. Um, but uh, yeah, listen, 
good luck to you in your future endeavours and I hope to see you one day lifting uh, you know, the lightweight division belt because I think you could be a future champ down the line. So keep it on my guy. Um, moving on to that, Tristan Ham versus not Logan Paul. Not going to lie, this is short and sweet. Tristan Ham was going to win all day, every day, fair and square, easy peasy, lovely jubbly, arrivederci. Right, after that, we're going to be looking at the Ashley or actually fight and OJ Rose. Um, really and truly, that fight was even. I had Ashley having rounds one and three, OG rounds two and four, and the score said it, it, was a, it was a majority draw. I respect it, it's the correct decision, but I need to see the rematch now. I need to see people running back, yeah? Because a rematch is the most acceptable answer right now, and it's the only solution to make sure that this feud, this could lead to a potential trilogy, because whoever wins would obviously want another rematch, and that leads to a trilogy. Great storyline, obviously, they weren't, OJ's a man of little words, he doesn't really like talking crap in person and obviously uh, Ashley likes to big up the promotions and obviously it plays a massive part in that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, Ashley Rex and OJ, that's a draw. Going on to the first co-main, uh, sorry, the first ever female co-main event of a Misfits boxing card was L Brook versus uh, AJ Bunker. Really and truly, this was a great fight. Um, <laughs> It was a great, it was a really good fight. Um, I think AJ had round one because L had a point deducted uh, and then round two was quite simple. Um, L had a point deducted in round one because of too much holding. I don't think it was the right call, but it is what it is. Obviously, the new uh, uh, governing sanctioning body for Misfits is the Polish uh, Professional Boxing Department because bye-bye uh, PBA, no one likes you. Um, and yeah, then L Brook won. Um, she wobbled uh, AJ in round two, I think. It hit the clip, clipped around the back of the ear. Um, obviously, the ref didn't deem it to be a knockdown, even though it should have been a knockdown. And then, uh, yeah, in round three, L Brook came with some mean cross over the over the uh, jab of Ash uh, of AJ. Uh, clipped AJ right in the face, and AJ just fell to the floor and could not get back up. Um, and obviously, her coach uh, made sure that she was okay. Uh, but yeah, shout out to L Brook who's been the, uh, the the Misfits boxing middleweight champ. Uh, but I think you're probably gonna go up in weight now, aren't you? Because obviously you said uh, you're, you're too, you come down in weight, so it's a bit too much of a problem. So uh, good luck fighting in the women's cruiserweight division, because you're gonna go up against the likes of Elena Vampiro and uh, you're also gonna go up to the likes of Judy Polka. That's a fight I wanna see, uh, and I hope it does happen, because if it does, it will be a banger. It will be certified banger. It will literally be a scrap to the death. So uh, that I wanna see. Um, and moving on to the final fight of the night. This has caught everyone by surprise. It's Ed Matthews versus the mystery opponent. And lo and behold, I saw Ginty run out. I'm thinking, wow, that's nuts. Ginty moving like a madman. Don't know why he's doing all this nonsense. And he ran out. Then Swarm's come out to talk in the hardest. Shout out to the English national anthem. We know what the real dons are singing, obviously. Shouldn't be God Save the King. It's talking the hardest. Shout out that. And then B. Dave came out to Sweet Caroline, which I'm not going to lie for an American. Should not be doing that because that is a British tradition. Americans don't do that. So don't stop stealing our music, even though it's an American song. Please. Thank you. Um, but yeah, none of them men fought um, Ed Matthews. It was actually Luis Pinedo, the GOAT, the Mexican GOAT, the one that got me one of my viral short clips at Misfits uh, 004 in January last year. Uh, and respectfully, <laughs> GOAT Pinedo won. Yes, that is my G. I respect that. Love that for the kid. And he gets fighter of the night, so that got him like a 25k bonus from Prime. Shout out Prime. Uh, yeah, listen, if you're hearing this, um, Pineda, um, I don't know how to say it in Spanish, but you are a very good fighter. Um, so, uh, buena suerte. I think that means good luck. In in the, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but good luck in your future, kid. You're going to be a problem. You're going to be a problem in the world, in the middleweight division, my guy. Hopefully, you if you build up yourself as well, I want to see Pineda start challenging for belts real soon. And his storyline from being a bum uh, when he fought KSI originally in 2022 summer, to winning against B Dave, winning the tag team, drawing the tag team, and then coming back on this redemption arc, yeah, solid. Respect, my guy, respect. Uh, and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the reaction video. Uh, it was short and sweet. I did do this in one take. Thank you, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you soon. Peace.